<clears throat> Check one, two, one, two, baby. Check one, two, one, two. Why is this dude pressing calling me, bro? Oh, we live right now, doggy? Okay, we live right now. Let's play some music. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, baby. You know where to do. You know where you at. Let's go. Yeah. Mm. On a Saturday afternoon, song and cracking. Yes, sir. Raise your cups up. If you're feeling good about life, God is good, God is great, baby. Let's go to the blessed and fortunate. one out right here my boy that one's dope too you should try that one out right there don't you yeah baby uh welcome to hoodstocks the gangster rap <clears throat> of podcast baby hoodstocks is the gangster rap of podcast we started this shit first baby okay this afternoon's podcast is brought to you by roulette printing contact roulette printing where they will give you quality printing and guide you through the full design and print process from start to finish baby roulette printing is located in huntington park your one-stop shop print shop with the creative edge to help bring your brand to life roulette printing follow them on instagram roulette printing google them for the address in huntington park baby Yes, sir. Uh, today's podcast is also brought to you by Gutter Fiend. I'm a lifestyle brand that is dedicated to supporting and inspiring individuals who are determined to achieve their dreams. We believe that no matter where you come from and what you've been through, with hard work and dedication, anything is possible. A portion of our proceeds are donated to organizations that provide vocational training for pro leads and scholarships for those in the, and for those in the need of uh, drug and alcohol uh, rehabilitation. And that might be us, right? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, visit GutterFenom.com and use the exclusive code Hoodstar. 20 and receive 20% off your order today. Okay, today's podcast is also brought to you by a tattoo artist that's been fucking with us since day one. The homie out of San Diego. The dude is legit, bro. I mean, Dent Loke, the cover up specialist. I mean, I gave him that motherfucking name, bro. The cover up specialist, dog, because this dude does amazing work. Dudes be getting out of prison with the ET lips, dog, on their neck, dog. It's ridiculous, bro. You know what I mean? Uh, it must be their Sally's lips. I don't know what's going on, but this dude got you, dog. He gonna cover that shit up, dog. He's out of San Diego. There's nothing this guy can't fix cover up it's time to get rid of your ex-girlfriend's name and put a reaper on top of it i don't know is though we wishing her death if we do that i don't know i hope not everyone has fucked up <laughs> everybody has fucked up and said hey let the homie tattoo on me uh go see denton loke and he will make that go away okay okay you motherfuckers ready my shit been blowing the motherfucker up dog <clears throat> are you motherfuckers ready Matter of fact, can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? Amen. There you go, baby. This is the house of the unholy, Dougie. You know what I mean? All right, this man needs no introduction. Say his name and the world knows. Everybody. King Little G. What's happening? What's good? <clears throat> First of all, thank you for having me here today. I appreciate it. Shit, my boy. Thank, thank you. you for pulling up, Come dog. On. You yeah. already know that... Uh, the reason why I reached out to you is because um, I'm very proud of everything that you're doing. Uh, I, I see what you do. Uh, you you bring a lot of people on your platform and shit. You show a lot of love. And you know, when I started rapping, uh, there wasn't podcasts like this uh, that would put us on. So, uh, you know, I appreciate it. That's why I reached out to you because you know I wanted to come over here show some love too. Thank you, brother. 
Thank you so much, brother. I appreciate it, dog. Yeah. We really try to take care of the streets right here, doggy. And then that was that was the uh that was the idea from the beginning, brother. Put us on, bro. You know? Hell yeah. And uh that's what we've been doing, that's what we've been doing going close to five <laughs> years, dog. But yeah. check it out, my boy. Before we got some gifts for you, brother. So I wanna start it off like this, bro. We got gifts. We got gifts. Uh the first gift is from a sponsor of ours, Killer Kush, baby. Yeah. You know what I mean? And they got a motherfucking king sure. package for King Little G right yeah, there. Killer Kush, what up? Yeah, Killer Kush, doggy. Open that up and see what they which, what they put in there for you. Oh, we look at this. Okay, okay. Yeah, Hit that camera, love. show that real quick, dog, if you they can, my boy. A lot of love, my dog. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah. A lot of love right there. Ooh. Killer Kush, baby. They on the come up and they yeah. are sponsors of this podcast. For sure. So we also we have another gift for you, Maji. Can somebody take that from? Get that off him. Help Thank him out, please. You. Thank you. Shit, man. As soon as Steezy knew the King Little G was pulling up the hoodstocks, they said, look, we got to do something special for this man right here. Bro, Steezy loves you, baby. Uh, yeah. Matter of fact, shout out to Leanne and shout out to the owner. I don't want to say the owner's name, <laughs> but uh, open that up, right? That is for you, my boy. Yeah, and behalf of Steezy, dog. Yeah, you can put your, you, you, there's an ash right there if you want to put yeah, that in Steezy, there, brother. what up? Thank you. Appreciate it. Check this shit out. Oh, oh. oh, I fuck with this. Look at that shit, homie. Yeah, I fuck with Look this. at that shit, dog. Yeah, they really take their time on this. Look at this. 4-7. Look at it. Look at the... Uh... Yeah, I like this. Damn. Oh, shit, look. They you feel me? Everything custom. Look, they put a... Uh, everything custom. Put a 4-7 on everything. Thank you, Stizzy. Appreciate Absolutely. it. <sighs> Man, I seen that shit. They sent that shit. They sent that shit on an Uber by itself to my <laughs> crib today, dog. <laughs> I swear to God, dog, because they were working on it, bro. They were working on it. They're like, look, we, man, we got something special for this dude right here, man. And we, you know, yeah. by, what about tomorrow morning or two afternoon? I said, shit, shoot it, run it. We good, bro. We ain't yeah. going live till four o'clock. Hell yeah. And the fucking Uber driver popped up and he said, are you lucky? <laughs> I said, who's asking? Yeah. Anyways, yeah, that is dope right there. We love that. And of course, bro, of course, baby. This is just Hoodstock's love right here, baby. Oh, T-shirts, uh, all the hats that I had, baby. I feel like it's Christmas again. No, absolutely, brother. I mean, you know, dog. Thank you guys for all the support, my boy. I appreciate that, for real, in a humble way. Thank you. You know, bro, brother, all the work. You, I mean, right here, bro, we're here to celebrate you today, brother. Thank you. Your accomplishments, everything you've done as a man, as an artist, brother, you know, uh, we, bro, you got to give props where it's due, doggy, and you have done the damn thing, brother. Thank you. You know what I mean? You, uh, you know, check it out, dog. You, you, you are, you are, the, you are, and so the, I'll say it like this, my G. You are the king of homie hip hop. Nobody, homies. I ain't talking about residents, homie. You know, I'm talking about homies right here. You are, and, you know, and, and I know your trajectory is a lot bigger than that world domination, right? Yeah. But right here, we in the hood, we in East LA right here, and not one homie has done it as big as you've motherfucking done it, my G. I Shit. Hard pill to swallow for some cats, dog, but the numbers don't lie, my G. The numbers don't lie. So look, let's get right into that. Cause uh, I feel like there's a lot that's been going on on the internet. Okay, I wasn't gonna hit you with that, but go ahead. A lot of, and there's a lot of things that I've been bothered about. And I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, from the beginning of my career, I feel like I, I allowed a lot of these uh, a lot of these individuals to say certain shit about me. And uh, you know, I've always been real humble and respectful. But you know, I feel like my kids are growing up now, and I feel like now they're seeing certain shit on the internet that I can't let people, you know, just just slide on. I feel like if they're gonna be saying some shit, they need to be confronted or they need to approach me with love. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. It's not hard to ask for respect and love. If that's what I'm giving, then I want respect and love too. Let's go. Straight up. I don't wanna be on that bullshit because I feel like there's a lot of clout chasing ass shit going on. Straight the fuck up. And motherfuckers love using my name. They love using my motherfucking pictures as thumbnails. And I'm not playing with none of these suckers no more. That's all I'm saying. And they better show me respect and they better show me love. If they want to be on that vibe, we could be on that vibe. But if we going to turn up, they, they know where to send me that DM. I see. I they see. know how to get a hold of the real ones so the real ones can get a hold of me. Absolutely. And I think... I That's think, all I'm going to say. And, I, and honestly, brother, I'll say it like this, bro. 
one thing here at Hoodstocks Pro is we have cats, dog of all calibers right here. You know, and one thing that I don't ever do, brother, because I understand the repercussions, bro. Nothing that I will ever do will throw gasoline on a motherfucking fire, baby. You know what I mean? But if we together, dog, and motherfuckers roll up and they want the business shit, I'm with, I'm there with you, doggy. You know what oh, I mean? We, oh, oh we, you know what, Lucky? I don't mean to interrupt you, but, uh, you know, a lot of these people, that they really losing their fucking minds because I'm saying I'm the best. And I don't see what the fuck is the problem. Well, we say we're the greatest, right? If here. I was a motherfucking boxer, I'd be saying I was the best in that too. If I'm gonna get in that field, and if that's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna say I'm the fucking best. How am I supposed to go into a fight thinking I'm th that I'm the worst? I mean, who 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 brags about being second best? Who the third fuck best? does that? Like, <laughs> let's keep I mean? it real. Let's keep it real. I think, look, everybody should feel like that I about think, themselves. I think everybody like they they see you with success, and they're like, hey, he just gotta be humble. He can't say nothing back to nobody. He can't give his opinion. Fuck all that. I do have an opinion. Because I am the people. I'm the people like everybody else. And when I say a motherfucker ain't got no talent, he ain't got no talent. That's my opinion. Yeah. I'm not trying to convince nobody. And, 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 I, and I feel bad that some of the homies really taking this shit to heart. Like, my boy, if I'm telling y'all y'all need to perform better, you need to perform better. Because the shit ain't sounding right. It's not sounding right, Lucky. I'm going, man. I've seen I've seen a lot of their performances on the internet. Everybody could go check that shit out, and it's not looking good. And it's our people. So me, I'm in the front line. So I'm trying to tell my people, hey, my dog, this is what we gotta improve on. Is that bad? Is that bad that I'm telling my my, my colleagues, hey, my boy, we need to fix this. It's constructive criticism. Y'all need to come like this. Well, it's check it out, bro. And it's not coming from a dude. Uh, <laughs> that hasn't made the leaps and bounds and over the mountains that like you have, brother. It's coming from somebody that's fucking done the damn thing. Numbers speak for itself, brother. I mean, bro, like, yeah, bro. And that I feel like a lot of these take that, I right? feel like a lot of these dudes are haters too. Off top, they're haters. Jealousy and envy. Why him and not me, bro? Look at my bars. Listen to they're my haters, bars. But, whoa, whoa, whoa. But, but check this out. But they all talk unity. They all, they, they all say it's unity, but they're all haters. Well, it's unity when they're in front of your face, bro. And, and, and let me tell but you But behind this. the internet, bro, it's easy to be a motherfucking and, gangster. And, and, and I got a question. If it's unity, then why ain't none of these older dudes ever taught us how to register our music? Because they didn't know. Or, or no, maybe they did know. I'm sorry. I know the ones that know. Yeah. Because, you know, I'm behind the scenes, so I know I know the ones who've been knowing. It's a dirty game, baby. I know. You know how it is. It's a so, street, so then, why, so then why are they talking fucking unity? Cause it sounds why, good why on the internet. Talking, why are they saying that shit if they not really putting us on? As far as all the Mexican artists go right now, everybody that's watching this shit right now. As far as every Mexican artist that, that's putting out music right now, none of them know how to register their music. Somebody else owns their music. They don't even know it. There's four ways to collect royalties on music. And they think their little Spotify check is the only one. Man. They lost. Well, maybe you need to do a master class, they baby. Lost, but, pick, but, like I said, but like I said, for $18.99, everybody could enroll to my seminar. I'm going <laughs> to teach everybody. <laughs> hey, bro, I know, I know it sounds funny, Lucky, but I'm serious. Are you dead, you dead, you dead I'm serious. serious. I'm not playing. Let's go. I want to put them on. Yeah. Because everybody else didn't put you on. Straight up. And I ain't got to say no names. It's evident. None of them know how to do it. Well, bro, look at look at look at bro. Like you, and we can't succeed if we don't own the music and we're not making money off of this shit. You, you the only, and I'm not gonna even say homie. I'll just say Mexican, bro. That is that made it as far but up who, as you've made it, bro. My, so but, nobody has the recipe lucky, except lucky, you, maybe. Lucky, but fuck all that. I didn't come over here to brag about numbers or nothing like that. Cause you guys can see it. You guys know the numbers. We ain't even gonna talk about that. I'm just talking about the facts. Okay. I feel like they're all a bunch of haters and I feel like none of them really want to work together and I feel like none of them really like each other. Straight up. So all that unity shit is out the window with me. And I kind of feel like, look, they was all bothered because I said I was going to bring out a freestyle, right? I brought out this freestyle. I didn't mention none of these motherfuckers. I didn't say not one word about one motherfucker on there. And so what if I am clowning motherfuckers if, if they sound like, whoa, Vicky? <laughs> My boy, aren't we the ones always throwing shade at Capone because we like, hey, 
You ain't Mexican, but why are you acting this way? They always throwing shade at bro. Straight up. This is facts. So then why are we encouraging our people to act like somebody else? Yeah. Why are we doing that? Why? It got to be the same way. When you give respect, you get respect. It got to be the same way. We can't complain about some and then let others do and be the way that they want to be. Nah, bro. And by the way, I don't believe that that's a real accent. And, and I know you guys probably laughing watching this shit, but I don't believe that's a real accent they putting up. Yeah, dog. I hear it. Embrace dog. our culture. Our culture is beautiful. But people want to take so much from us. Look, how also we get mad at YG and, and, and not, it wasn't YG, uh, Tyga. Remember that situation with Tyga? Yeah, I seen that. Everybody was real mad about that, right? Why? Because he's taking our culture and he's acting like us. I mean, that's what everybody was saying on the internet. Should they take that as a compliment instead? <clears throat> what I'm trying to tell you, bro, is why are you going to be upset at somebody trying to take from us? When they're doing the people... same thing. They're doing the same thing. <clears throat> yeah, they're doing the same thing. And, and that's 100%. Uh, and that's just me as a Mexican talking, not as a rapper, not as number, none of that shit. Just me as a Mexican. But anyways, besides that, I'm done with that conversation. Uh, who else I got to address? <clears throat> Parking enforcement? <laughs> Any nah, tickets nah, lately? Nah, I, I'm on some real shit though, Lucky. No, I, I want to let everybody know how I feel. I'm not playing. You know, Straight brother, and, and, and you know what? You, you got something to get off your chest, and, and, and I wasn't even going to press you on none of that shit, dog, because I don't even, I don't even, even no. I don't even like, to, I don't even like to get into all that motherfucking bullshit, bro, because that shit's all over the internet, dog, and these motherfuckers are like sheep, homie, jumping on the bandwagon and shit, dog. They're like cows being herded and shit, dog, and I, we really try to stay, you know, in and, our lane, and, and baby. And check this out. And the older rappers, the only time I want y'all to speak to me is if we're going to do something positive for the new generation. Or are we going to put a festival together so we can let all the little youngsters rap? Because there's a lot of young, talented, rapping little homies right now. A lot of them. Yeah. Uh, it's too many to name. 100%. But there's a lot of them that have a lot of good talent. We need to put light on that. And whose responsibility is it? Us Mexicans, the older ones, the ones that we, we do have pockets. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Because it's only like $7,000 to book the convention center, to be honest with you. $7,000. Shit, I got, I got 50 on it. See, that's what I'm saying. And it's a shitload of us. Yeah. And what can we do? We can show the talent, the new talent that we have, which, by the way, I think that we are going to have a really, really good, successful global Mexican artist coming out of Los Angeles. But it's still going to take five more years for us to really be united, really come together and us have bigger things than the than the uh, than the lowrider show. The lowrider show is like the biggest thing for, for Raza. Ridiculous. And it only costs seven thousand dollars. We got to switch shit up. But and that's it, why I'm I, I'm gonna do it, and uh, and I also want to reach out to to, uh, to to certain other individuals that also getting money from rap, and I feel like we could do a beautiful thing for the people for real. Let's go, let's go, baby. Let's go. When it comes to the industry and shit, it seems like you have been the only one, bro, that is uh, broke through that ceiling, right on a on a global level. I mean, are, are we blackballed? Are the homies, Mexicans, Latinos, Raza, are they blackballed from the industry, brother? No, they're not. I'm gonna tell you the truth right now. Y'all go get your pencils right now. I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> <That's so sad. clears throat> the reasons why it's not happening is because none of them have a good PR. Public relations? None of them have an expensive PR. So these are the prices to PRs, by the way, because I don't they, these rappers, they don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about right now. But the prices start at $2,000. If you get you a good, solid one that's going to put you on magazines, that's going to put you on, on certain, certain stages that give you a good look, for no easy to do an interview, like shit like that, you're going to need one that's going to cost about $8,000 a month. You know what it costs you to get on Hoodstock's street credentials, homie? Staying solid, baby. No, that's how we do it right but here. But what I'm saying what is saying. Yeah. to put the artist in a certain level at a certain height is going to take that much. Yeah. And a lot of them ain't even looking for that, for, for, for that lane. They're not looking for a PR. They're not I mean, how do, you, how, do you, how do you even approach that? Is it Craigslist? <clears throat> I mean, what are we doing? I'm not trying to make a joke of it, it's brother. A, but it's like, a very tight circle of people, and you got to come correct, and people got to trust you. People got to love you. You can't be a little snake. 
You can't turn on people as soon as they hook you up with a certain something. Yeah. That's how I've been able to move through this game, by being good to people. I mean, our, our, can homies, can Mexicans, can raza, can they handle that type of power of, of, of money, fame, everything that it brings with it, you know? I mean, why haven't we experienced it, you know, regardless of maybe cats not knowing, bro? But, like, I mean, what's going on, bro, that you, you know, Psycho Realm, I mean, only ones, bro, you know, that have... By the way, shout out to Sick Jack, and he's a real one. He showed me a lot of love in the beginning of my career. He would come to my shows, perform for free. Um, Let's go, uh, Sick Jack. Uh, he, he gave me a, a, a the verse the verse that I did with Sick Jack, and he gave it to me for free from the heart. So, Sick Jack, and I appreciate you. I know I've never said this before. I know I've never said this before, but I want to send a lot of love to you, for real. You have been an inspiration for us Mexicans in hip hop here in LA. Let's go, baby. Duke, baby. Shout out to my boy Duke. I used to go to Duke's crib, bro, and just post up with that fool with my boy Frankie Knuckles, dog. You know what I mean? I used to go to their crib, bro, mom's house, bro, and yeah. post up with that dude, bro. And I, he... Shout out to Mr. Shadow from San Diego, too. I fuck with San Diego, too. Let's Heavy. go, baby. San Diego. I mean, would they, would they be considered, would San Diego, and I, and I put a post up, brother, and I always feel like San Diego, and this is just my opinion, bro, are the kings of, like, Chicano rap, bro. Is, is, how do you feel about it, uh, something like that? So I was just trolling all of them when I said I'm the king of Chicano, uh, of Chicano rap because I don't even consider myself that. I never have. I just been on this hip hop shit from the beginning. Yeah, I wouldn't. I that's never why, thought of you. That's as why. Chicano that's rap why. Either. That's why I was doing shows with Immortal Technique. That's why I was doing shows with Sick Jackin. That's why I was doing shows with Chino XL. Yeah, let's go. Talk your shit, homie. You feel me? That's why I was on lineups with Wu Tang Clan. That's why. You feel me? I wasn't I mean, going off after all this other shit, bro. I mean, Chicano rap can't be on those lineups, unfortunately. But then again, you got cats like Little mm -hmm. One, that dude Spit, Shadow Spit. I mean, they can be anywhere they want to be, so maybe I misspoke on that, dog. And Lil One, too. He's solid. I fuck with his music. And I'm talking about his music because I don't know these individuals, bro. Like yeah. that outside of like just seeing them at the studio. We need to have a motherfucking powwow, baby. That's what I'm saying. Sit I at wanna, the table. Yeah. Sit down, so bro. So check this out. I'm going to hit up uh, Shadow and uh, Shadow, we need to get on a freestyle. And I know you down to do it, you my dog. And uh, I'm gonna bring you over to the studio and we gonna kill that shit. We gonna, we gonna run up the numbers. You heard it right here on Hoodstocks, baby. We gonna run up the numbers. And now, now, now that's unity, right? You know what I mean? You know, uh, you know the, the, the talk always sounds good, you know what I mean? But the action, baby, you know what I mean, is, is where it's at, doggy. So I'd love to see that, brother. Yeah. I, I mean, who else, brother? Who else? Who else is? I mean, there's so many good artists out there, bro. You know. I'll tell you what. I got I got a big list. Uh, right now, there's a rapper from another rapper from San Diego. His name is Lil Weirdo. I think he's pretty dope too. I think the homie's pretty dope. Uh, he's young, so he he could become a big star. For Absolutely. Real. And and he got my support. What does it take to become a big star? Uh, well, it takes it takes the PR for sure, and you need a you need a, an expensive A and R too. Like not your homeboy being the A and R because people always do that. Yeah, they put in pe the, they put the, the people in the wrong <laughs> positions, baby. That's my dog. Hey, hey, we've we been gangbanging since we were fifteen. Hey, you know what I mean? The rappers always make their close homie their PR. Yeah, I mean their PR or their A and R, bro. And it can't be like that. You gotta have somebody that's going in those circles, important circles, having you in important places. You're only gonna be able to do what Snow the product did on on the BT cipher if you have a good A and R and a PR, guys. So go after that shit. Snow the product. Salute to Snow the product too. I've been fucking with her uh, for a long time uh, in her in the in our early days and shit. She was doing a music video. I pulled up over there, and she showed nothing but love. And she's always been really humble and. Uh, and, and I love what she's doing. She's doing amazing, beautiful things. I just wish our Mexicans would have stood behind her when she got nominated for that award, uh, for the MTV award. I think it was MTV award. Uh, I just wish they could have got behind her a lot more so she could have won, so she could have proven a point. Because cause I feel like she's, she opened doors for a lot of us by doing those certain things, you feel me? And, and like I said, I love giving people their love and support. You you hear me talking positive. Absolutely. You feel I mean, me? I mean, it's... Am I out of line, bro, for saying maybe uh, making this making this statement, bro, that may, possibly Mexicans might be the biggest haters in the world? You absolutely, you know what? This is what I think. I don't think 
Mexicans in general, I feel like sometimes we could be misunderstood. It's not that they're being haters, but we're misunderstood. Sometimes a lot of us have too much confidence and they think we're trying to flex. I mean, they're, they, they're, think, they, they think we arrogant, bro. And it's not that you got to be confident if you want to succeed, bro. I mean, there's not a there's a there's not a long uh, legacy of Mexicans that were raised rich opposed to like, say, uh, I just don't remember us Mexicans being sensitive at all, bro. Well, we're not sensitive at the family fucking parties, baby. But when it comes to money and shit, dog, it may, there might be uh, some sensitivity sensitivity involved in regardless of the next man doing better than them opposed to congratulating them and maybe trying to pick their brain and saying, well, hey, bro, you know what I mean? Drop me some gems, my G. Throw me an alley-oop, dog, like you're doing to me today, dog. And thank you I, again, I just brother. Love, I just love my people too much to, to, to say that all Mexicans are haters like that because I feel like we do have a very strong moral compass and that comes with, you know, being very family-oriented. So I, I kind of feel like we have that. Well, we strong, we strong where we strong, but we're weak where we weak, and we got to own that yeah, shit, and, I believe, And, and bro. we're very loyal, and we're very strong, so I don't want to just say that we fucking haters off top like that, you feel me? But I do I, I, I do want us to understand each other a little bit more. Well, there's not enough, and, and let's talk the rap world, the homies, the, the Mexican, Raza. Oh, okay, okay, so when I, told, when I told Conejo and Little Rob, hey, yo, I want to freestyle both of you. What's up? Hey, bro, I'm just saying that if we're basketball players, let's go shoot the ball in the gym, bro. What the fuck is, a, what, what's so wrong about that? Let's catch a one-on-one. -on -one. Like, what's on so, the, In the basketball court. What's yeah. so wrong with that, bro? There's nothing wrong with that, bro. I mean, that's hip-hop, baby. I can't, I that's can't, hip-hop. I can't imagine Kobe Bryant saying, nah, LeBron, I'm not stepping in there with you. Why would I go, why, 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 why would I go shoot hoops with you outside of the, outside of the main stage? Like, why? Sometimes you got to catch that fade, you know? That fade in the sense of maybe a one-on-one, -on -one, a friendly one-on-one, -on -one, right? For the art of the sport of hip-hop, which is how it's, it's evolved, Cause right? Because, look, look, a lot of these, a lot of these dudes, too, they don't want to be considered Chicano rap. They try to just push it off like it's the worst thing ever. You know what, bro? I, I it, laugh it, at that it, shit. I'm like, embrace it, my boy. Let them call you whatever they want. Embrace it. Well, there, there was such a bad, bad stigma of fuck. Chicano rap for so I long, I don't bro. give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. But I never considered uh, Conejo, speak, you brought Conejo, Conejo up, uh, of Chicano rap, bro. He's always been, like, he's always had his own little vibe, bro. Because back in the day when me and it's, Rick, it's you know. Chicano rap, bro. He's a Chicano influencer. It's Chicano rap. Okay. Why is it so bad to embrace our Chicanos, which is Mexican-American, right? Yes, sir. Why can't we embrace him? Why can't we embrace it? Why can't we embrace the name? It's our people, bro. It's our people. Why is it so hard to show love? Well, maybe we need to re redefine the word, brother. Look, to, fuck to what this, happened in the day. past. Hey, look, fuck what happened in the past. How Chicano rap used to be, how it was. Now we have a new version. Now we have a new set of Mexicans who are putting up numbers. Big numbers. Shout out to my boy Devour. He got 100 million views. Ain't nobody fucking with him. Let's go. Devour, baby. Holler at me. we get your interview, baby. And they, hey, hey, and they don't give them no shout outs. Who, when, we, well, when we say they, who are we talking about? Everybody. Our own everybody. The rapper, especially, because if you see in the African American community, one rapper, all the rappers are posting for one. Yeah. Hey, my dog just dropped this album. Yeah. Hey, congratulations to my dog. First, first uh, black person to do this. Like they always saying that. They always so proud of their people. Yeah. We need to be like that too. Have you ever been to a, uh, I, have, I have black family members on my girl's side, right? Yeah. And I go to their family functions, bro. And I might be the only Jew Hefner in that bitch, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? And when I walk in there, bro, it doesn't matter the color of my skin. I am there with them, bro. And the love is crazy, They show bro. a lot of love. Hey, baby, what you want? You bro, know, you we know got what? this right here. Like, damn, it's love, bro. I know, I know. And, and this is this comes with being misunderstood because I grew up with a bunch of blacks, too, and they always showed nothing but love. Nothing but love, my So dog. are they stopping the homies from raising up in the game? Hell no, they're minding their business. They're doing their own thing. Yeah, that's that's playing victim, uh, the victim card. So when the cats, when when individuals say that, they're playing the victim role. Hell yeah. It's like, it's like saying I can't get in because I'm being discriminated. Ain't nobody stopping you, let me tell you. Ain't, ain't nobody stopping you from going and freestyling at uh, at uh, the L.A. Leakers. Ain't nobody stopping you from doing that. You guys got to step it up and you got to go. You got to compete. You got to come strong. 
You got to come with skill. That's what it is. Y'all saw us do Y'all saw us already set an example. Sick Jack and King Lil G. Y'all seen us do an example already. Y'all take it further. Y'all think y'all better? Y'all think y'all could do better? Come on. Please do better. Come on. Please do it. We want to be proud of you. We want to be proud of you. We already got money. You got money. Come on. <laughs> you got money. I'm driving a Honda Accord right now, dog, and I'm on E, homie. But I feel it, though, dog. You know what, bro? You, you, you sit... You sit on a on a on a higher elevation than the rest, right? And so, when when you started the game, opposed to where you're at now, did you still have the mi same mindset? What were the steps that took you to where you're at now, brother? If we if we can rewind that track, brother, I mean, have you always had the same mindset? I mean, what 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 are the what what's the recipe? If you can drop a couple gems for cats that are aspiring rappers, uh, love what you're doing, right? And one day want to be the next, not King Little G, but their their selves, but at a, a level of a King Little G, right? Yeah. I mean, what 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 would you advise them to do besides step up their rap game? Because we we already did, we already uh, said that there, there's badass artists right now amongst the the fellas, right? Yeah. They, they, they got skill set, so what's the next step? You got the skill set, what do we do? You said find a PR, you know what I mean? What, what's the mindset? Uh, uh, definitely be ready for sacrifice. And what I mean by that is you got to sacrifice everybody's birthday. You're not going to be able to attend shit. Never cancel a show because of your personal business, your personal life. Keep it pushing. Make sure that you do good collaborations. ASAP. Don't want to just be on your own. See... I feel I feel like that's one regret I, I have, Lucky. That um I wanted to prove a point to the world so bad that I wanted to do all the songs by myself. Or bring uh, one of my local homies, like not someone famous, but you know, one of my one of my dogs and shit. I'll just have a, a regular homie get on one of my songs. Shout out to EMC, Sinatra. My dog, he went through a car accident, bad car accident. He's still trying to recover out there. He's doing a good job. You know what I'm saying? That's my dog right there. 47 Eternal. You already know what time it is. Shit, let's give a shout out to Crypto too. My yep, G, shout dog. out my dog Crypto. Oh, by the way, let's talk about Crypto. Crypto, dog. Let's talk about Crypto. Let's talk about Crypto. All right, so check it out. I see a lot of people saying they dope producers. They dope this, they dope that, right? Shout out to my boy Crypto because my boy Crypto's work with Chris Brown, Young Thug, Rihanna. Man, the fucking, the list goes on. If if you if you can ever get yourself in a studio with crypto, you you in church, baby. So I just want to send my respect to my dog Crypto for real. Uh, crypto did a lot of good things for my career. He's an amazing uh, amazing engineer, very smart man, and uh, I just want to send a lot of love and respect to you, Crypto, because I feel like I do interviews, and you know I never get to say this shit, my dog. Well, we, we I send a lot of love. We both know, him, and I think that that's a key ingredient of why you're here today. Yeah, as definitely. well. You know what I mean? So, I, I used to fuck with crypto when I the first time I got out the penitentiary, not the last time I got out of the penitentiary. Um, and it's crazy because we were in Burbank, and he had a studio that used to be owned by um, homeboy with the airplanes. Help me out right now. Hey, let me get that lighter right there. Look, look, yeah, look. sorry about that, brother. It's all good. Uh, homeboy with the airplanes. Come on, dog. In the, back in the day, homeboy with the airplanes. I'm going to think of his name right now, and I Johnson. fuck. Huh? I'm just saying. Anyways, back in the day, there's a movie on him, and, and uh, bro, what is Lolito. it? Lolito. Yeah. What was that on? Michael Lolito? Or no, what? no, no. But anyways, he had a studio, bro. It was owned by this dude, bro. Hugh, uh, not... Um, Anyways, I apologize. I should have wrote the note on it. But this studio was fucking amazing, bro. It was all wood. It was all gold. And I had me and my cousin, Dope One, a.k.a. Don Pablo. Um, we had uh, Howard Hughes. I'm sorry. Howard Hughes. It, the building used to be owned by Howard Hughes. <clears throat> the studio was, and it, it got converted into a recording studio, right? Howard Hughes. We know who Howard Hughes is, right? Yeah. And... And, and and so the place was amazing, and I we sat countless hours, and this is when Lucky was aspiring to be a fucking rap artist, not a Chicano rap artist, but a hip hop artist, and um, 
<laughs> there we go. There we go. See how he starts talking? See nah, that. bro. I just say, you know, you I don't embra- label me Chicano rap, hey, homie. Embrace that Motherfuckers, shit. I know. We got to embrace it. But up. we redefine we de- redefine the word uh, as of today. Re- <laughs> redefining the word of Chicano rap, dog. And it's excellence and it's bad motherfuckers, dog. Because there's a lot of motherfuckers. I want to name names, dog. But I'm not going to do because I might leave one person out, dog. Yeah. You know what I mean? But anyways, I spent countless hours with crypto. And that dude is a fucking, a, not only is he an a amazing, for sure. not only is he a monster engineering, or, oh, look, you know what, hold on, let me add this, bump, go to the fucking keyboard, like, homie, you a pianist? What the, f- a pianist? Did I say that right? But someone's gonna correct me on that. Um, but, but no, bro, like, the dude, energy, and we had a lot of conversations about you, bro, he'd always talk about you, and this is, and what are you, 10 years in the game? Yeah, I would say about 10. 10 yeah. years in the game. So this is about nine years ago, bro. Damn. And he would speak about you, bro. Yeah. And he would say, like, bro, he would talk about you, bro, because he would he'd always just say, hey, low key, I, I low, would ask questions, bro. Low-key, my boy Crypto uh, saved my life because um, I remember there there would be times and shit when I'd be super stranded. And, uh, you know, I could have I could have went off and went through, a, you know, through a bad direction and shit like some like a lot of the homies do in the streets, you know? Uh, but my boy Crypto would always pick me up. I didn't have a car and shit. This fool Crypto would pick me up. He'd be like, hey, I'm outside. I'm going to come pick you up. And Imagine that. A the lot time, of the time King Little G didn't have a car. Man, I never You don't want to know what he pulled up in today. <laughs> and I ain't even going to say it. You know? Hey, but much love to everybody out there, though. You know, I say all these things with love because I, I want us as people to improve. Our, our people, you know what I'm saying? And um, I just want to send a lot of love to all the upcoming artists coming up. I will reach out to you, the ones that are dope. And you know, salute King Lil G forty seven. Absolutely, thank you, brother. Yeah, thank you for being here. Thank, thank you for being here, my boy. I mean, like I said, we're here to celebrate you, dog. You know what I mean, uh, you know what? I I I said I'm I said I'm going to Hollywood this year, and I'm not saying you Hollywood, but I'm saying I'm gonna go Hollywood this year, dog. Why? Why and you wanna go Hollywood? Because I wanna I wanna I wanna rub elbows, dog, with with amazing people like yourself. And I'm not saying you're Hollywood, but I'm saying I'm using it as in, in a metaphor as a higher level of individuals, bro. You know, and um, and that, that's the only way I say, it, bro. I know it, it 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 sounds it sounds it, it's put out there to sound fucked up, bro. Yeah. But I'm using it in a different uh, a different manner, brother. You know what I mean? But um, we got greatness here today, brother. You know, and you seem like you're always a very uh, private person. Is that safe to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like to be a, I, I like to spend all my time with my children. That's the reason why uh, I wasn't posting for a very long time and shit. Cause I just wanted to give them all my attention. I didn't want to worry about what people talking about on the internet. You know, I didn't want to worry about none of that shit. <clears throat> Plus my brother did 18 years in prison and we, when he got out, Let's I just go. wanted to spend all my time with him too, you know? He's out? Hell yeah, my bro's right here right now. Where's he at? Oh right shit! Yeah. I see you, my G. <laughs> yeah, he just got out. So um, next interview, right there. So you know, with the bro. I, I just been, I just been more or less just focused on on doing family things. You feel me? Because outside of music, uh, I invested into real estate and and uh, into a lot of businesses actually, and uh, that just that should just kept me busy. And uh, you know, I've been spending time with my family, like I said, and uh, that's all I really give a fuck about. You know, I don't really give a fuck about being on Instagram like that or doing certain shit like that. I just like to be private, turn up. I do. I love having a good time. I love being around love. So, you know, that's why they see me at, uh, doing my Halloween parties, my New Year's parties and shit. That's why I be doing a lot of those type of activities because, shit, I want to have a good time with my people. A lot of my homies, they dying, they going to prison. And while they around me, I want to be like, hell yeah, at least I got to spend a good time with my dog. At least I got to take some of my dogs on a yacht. You, you know what I mean? You know what and, I and I know and I know that's something that we had never experienced before. So I feel like that's a beautiful thing for me to be able to do that and I thank God for that a lot. I mean, is is that has that become and salute to you on that, brother. You know, I mean, taking the homies on a yacht, bro. I mean, that's foreign country to a lot of us, bro. I know you that. Know, I know we'll be, that. We'll be lucky to be on a fucking raft. I know that, but um <laughs> but but you know shit. <laughs> I wanted to ask you, what Mexican rapper do you do you think is hot right now? <laughs> who who do you see on the internet popping? Who got the numbers? Who you think I should reach out to? Who do you think I should give a free verse to, a free collaboration? Who? 
<clears throat> but I want to check his numbers. Like, the shit got to be good. It got to be dope. Like, you know? You put me in a real fucking... Uh, <clears throat> Come on. A, a, a hard predicament right now. Let me now, know. Be, What's because- up? Drop it on the comments. Let, 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 Tell yeah. them to drop it on drop the comments. Drop it on the comments. How about that? Because I, I can think of I can think of several individuals. Yeah, y'all let me know. You know, but I don't I don't want to say just one because if I say one, I want to say all because we have our talent has leveled up so amazing, bro. Yeah, so that, look, that that's one of the reasons why I wanted to come on your show because uh, I want to give uh, love back to the community, and uh, yeah, whoever you guys comment the most, I'm gonna do a collaboration with that person. There it is, right there. You heard it. You heard it right here on Hoodstocks, baby. And I'm gonna drop it on my YouTube channel Look at too. Sh- shout out to all cha- two thousand people that are tapped <laughs> in right now on the live, baby. The comments are going crazy right now. Yeah. I can't even. Who is it? They're going so fast. You know what they they, they, they the said? You know what? No, check it out, bro. They somebody said, "Hey," and and they told me in the comment when I made my post, they said, "Hey, well, why doesn't King Little G do a a, a, a song with Conejo?" And fucking little Rob and I'm like, bro, that's not gonna compliment. They're not gonna compliment each other on a track uh, like that. Nah, you know what? No, no, no. That's it. Then that's look. just my personal opinion, brother. All right, look, hear me out. Hear me out. Um, what they should be reaching out to me about is about how we gonna help the new generation. That's what I want to talk to them about. I don't want to talk to music. You know, I don't want to talk about music with them. I want to talk. How can we help the new rappers? You know, they've been in the game already for a while. I've been in the game now for a while. How can we help the next generation be better? You, you know what? I had a I had a conversation with Conejo personally uh, in face at uh, a prayer. Shout out to prayers. Um, prayers is birthday party. Shout out to Kat Von D for inviting me to that. Um, and I had a conversation with 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 uh, with Conejo and shit. You know what I mean? And um, what did I want to say about that? Um, what was it, Lucky? Tell it, it skipped my motherfucking mind right now. God damn it, dog! What the fuck was it? Yeah, no, I had a com- I had a conversation with them, brother. You I know what I was? Mean? High oh, I had a conversation with them, and I and but let's let's talk about it because people want to talk about different things and whoopty whoop whoop and shit. You know what I mean? And he said, "Hey, look, I'm doing movies. I just remembered right now." He goes, "Look, I'm doing movies. I'm writing this and that, ba ba ba, whoop whoop whoop." And I said, "Hey, homie, check it out, dog. You got your boy Lucky Sanzu right here. You better ask the streets about a motherfucker and shit, dog. Let me help you write." some of that shit dog let me help you write some of that shit you know what i mean and 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 and, and you know some of the like for free baby yeah. i ain't i ain't charging homie for free i told oh, now i said hey, hey homie so that's what you like to do you like to write movies or, or what, what, what's that about I, I i'm a writer bro okay you know what i mean and 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 i love i like i like to, I, i've well, offered comedians hey, hey, to lucky, write jokes I, from lucky i don't mean but they said i'm not funny lucky i don't mean to cut you off but who who's the artist that they talking about on there the most who is it I see Young Dopey. I see Cool Joe. Man, that's just going too quick, dog. You you fuck with uh, Young Dopey? Yeah, he's from the set. It's Absolutely. Really fast. It's hard to. Uh... Cool Joe, um, Young, uh, Thravi, Burner. Nah, Burner ain't getting the fucking. He ain't getting. He ain't. But he never got out. Is he out? Yeah, he's hard. He did that song that was pretty yeah, hard. They bro. also got to be out of jail, guys. Don't put somebody <laughs> in jail. Little weirdo. God damn it, homie. Because I want to do the collab already next week. Next week? Yeah, next, next week. Next week. The collab. You heard it right here on Hoodstocks. The collab is going next week, dog. Who's it going to be, Lucky, baby? You know I like to work fast. Hey, come on. They call me the fucking Jackrabbit, baby. I fuck fast, homie. ASAP. Yeah, this shit got to be ASAP. Bodachi. I mean, can you fuck with Bodachi, bro? I know, I know Baldacci personally. I actually met uh, Baldacci in the year 2011. Is it, uh, is, it a, is it a conflict of interest? Nah, it ain't no conflict, no conflict of interest. But um, you know, I feel like he's doing amazing right now. I love what he's doing. He's probably he's probably one of the hardest homies. I feel like, like he's that showing that he there, don't. Dude. I, I feel he's like got he, lyrics, bro. Hear me out. Hear me out. I feel like he's showing that he don't need a feature. He's, you know, he's already putting up numbers, and I'm I'm really proud of him. So Absolutely. Salute Shout to out to Bodachi. Salute. Get Bodachi. at me, my boy. Mr. Criminal. Now, nah, you can't do a fucking thing with Mr. Criminal. You know what I mean? Why? Because Mr. Criminal fucking denied this interview, bro. I want to put him on the spot, homie. Hey, you know hey my boy. Shit. We hey, ain't believing you that. Um, so, so, look. Um, also, the artist, let it be a little youngster, guys. Let it be a little youngster. Somebody, Somebody's life that we could change. Because I'm going to show him how to register his music, too. 
or what you can do is you can fucking dye your gray hairs and act like you a youngster. Because <laughs> there's a lot of motherfuckers. Oh, motherfuckers. I'll be listening to this. I'm like, and they're like, hey, yo, we better get my yay, yo. We had some dude right here. He hates me. He, his lady broke up with him because I blasted him on the podcast, bro. Yeah. It's fuck, dog. I got to watch what I do right here. I'm ruining relationships around here. Speaking of ruining relationships, dog, let's say this, bro. When did you make your transition, bro, to stretch marks, strike, uh, sharp? The eyebrows to fashion over bitches dog how about uh, that i want to say it was back in the year i want to say 2000 could have been 2007 2008 asking for a friend because it's because i started getting a little money then yeah asking so. <laughs> for a friend does the pussy feel any different hell yeah top tier is top tier come on <laughs> You know what, bro? I love a woman with stretch marks, bro. Every, you know what I mean, shout every, out to the thick bitches out there because it's like GPS <laughs> system. You never get lost down there, dog. <laughs> no? You crazy. All right, so who? <laughs> hey, hey, Lucky, what's the name? Who is it? Who is it? Who's going to get this feature right here, baby? What's up? God damn it. Can anybody catch those motherfuckers? 2,000 plus motherfuckers tapped in right here? Hey, hey, King, if I, if I could say, I, I shouted out, I shouted out one of my, uh, I shouted out one of my buddies. His, he goes by the name of Superior James out of Montebello. Superior and he's, James, and nice. he runs all, he's real smooth and yeah. he's all about ownership too. He, okay, he owns dope. everything and he distributes everything. Brown Speaking oil. Speaking of spe spe superior James, better motherfucking top you Salute. off after this motherfucking <laughs> shout out, dog. You know what I mean? Straight up. Superior James better superiorly help you out in a real way, dog. You gave him the fucking shout out in the one of our best fucking podcasts. We've had how we've had Lakers on this motherfucking podcast, but this is our best podcast to date, dog. This is legendary, baby. Two, Thank you, my two thousand people in the chat right now. Yeah, we I mean we've never had that many people, dog. You know what I mean? You know, we fucking oh, we've been in the EBT line, dog. You hey. know? This shit was a party. It's, it's, it's a struggle out here, dog. It's, yeah, it's a hundred percent a party, dog. Yeah, my brother. Thank you, brother. And Thank you, you brother. brought it, baby. You brought hey, it, my G. Thank salute. you, dog. I love and you, like baby. I said, we got a small army in this anything, room. Anything, anything I could do, <laughs> let me know. We got a small army in this room. If you guys Much check love. it out, if so you guys can see everybody that's sitting in this bitch right here, if you happen to walk in this door by accident with the wrong motherfucking attitude, homie, you gonna get the butt up. You gonna get the business, homie. <laughs> You know what I mean? But anyways, uh, shout out to everybody that's right here. I love you guys. There's drinks right there. There's Don Julio. There's fucking Jack Daniels. There's wine, baby. You guys help yourself, brothers. We got blunts. We got Killer Kush. We got motherfucking Steezy, baby. You, you guys light this shit up. Smoke this room up, please, for me, dog. Um, let's do it like this, dog. Let's do it like this. Um, we got past some of this shit. I just wrote some notes, brother. And, I, and, and this is just me, bro. Some of my questions, how is it from having dinner in Southgate yeah. to having dinner in Beverly Hills? What's the difference, bro? I've never had dinner in Beverly Hills at a high <laughs> Four Seasons type of restaurant, bro. Like, what's, what's the difference, dog? Stop playing. No, it is. I, that's a real, do you not want to answer? We go to the next one. Shit. Um, I, would say, I would say it's the same shit, dog. Straight up. In the hood, we have a lot of good ass food. Straight up. I'm driving from super far away just to go to Southgate and shit, just to go eat at a little taco spot over there. So sometimes the hood got it. Hey, but who's the artist? What's up? Who's the artist? PK from Cam. <laughs> Shout out to my boy, uh, 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 my boy, I love this dude, K9, uh, uh, Eastside Cam, baby. Yep. We got Shout my boy Troops, Highland Shout Park, up in this bitch. We got yeah. Preston, we got all these G's, Dope One, motherfucking my cousin Nick right there, and we got all your people. We got Frankie, baby, we got Casey, we got Brenda. I mean, so check it out. When by, we the way, talk by the way, by the way, we're not going to exclude anybody. We're not going to exclude anybody. They could be, from if, if they from a set, cool. We like that. We like real Would ones. Would you prefer us that? We, we like to support real ones. Yeah, yeah. But if it's a good kid, too, that ain't a part of that, but he on some hip-hop shit, let's get it, too. Because we could guide that little homie towards the right direction. Well, uh, you know what, bro? I don't like doing this, but I'm going to do this, bro. You know what I mean? And if you if you do not want to comment on it. If you don't like it, doing it, why you going to do it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> now, nah, but go ahead. Talk to me. Whatever you need to say. What's up? Talk to me. What's up? He's probably absolutely right. I mean, he, he, check it out, dude. Like, check it out, my G's. Like, check it out. This dude right here 
I, I, and I'm gonna so I'm gonna revert my shit, right? I'm gonna take a different lane, bro. You seems like you really matured at a young age, bro. When when then when there comes cats like me, that I didn't start really thinking about shit till I was like 35 years old, bro. I'm 45 right now. I, I'm gonna be turned 46 this month, February 25th. Holla at your boy, um, and I'll be 46. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, I got 13 years in the penitentiary, uh, 25 plus years on the fucking streets about that business, baby. You know what I mean? Um, you know, and my homies are here and they can fucking uh, stamp and seal that shit. But I'm just saying, like, um, you matured at a young age, bro. I mean, if you listen to LeBron James when he was like a teenager, bro, interviews, bro, you were just like, what? This dude's 17 years old. This is a grown man right here. So you have you have a lineage or something in your DNA, brother, that has allowed you to evolve and see things as a grown man at a young age, I believe. Yeah. You know, and so like, how does that? Is it? Is it? Is it genetics? Is it the way you were raised with your family? You know, what, what would you say that is, is from, brother? Steezy, baby, he coughed from that Steezy, dog. Shout out to Steezy, baby. I'm high as a motherfucker. <coughs> Hold up, give me a second. You fuck with mushrooms? No. Uh, huh? <laughs> Nah, I, I only smoke weed, low key. I don't fuck with much of it either, but I'm gonna take a bite of this one right here. <laughs> it's only right. Shout out to Killer Kush. Appreciate My dog, the show. What's cracking? Who's the artist? What's up? Who we gonna connect tonight? And let's get a hold of them. Whoever we choose, get a hold of them. We'll check it out, my boy. We do live phone calls right here. You down for live phone calls? Yeah, go and ahead. We, we, and we'll, we'll, we'll cut the bullshit out, bro. I would love it. Come yeah, incorrect, bro. They get the fucking hit the eject button on them. Nah, but the I would reject love to, button. Hey, but Loki, I would love to say uh, hi to somebody that does support and love me, so y'all call it up. Let us know what's up. Come on. Let's do phone calls. Fuck it, dog. Let's jump into phone calls. Let's take a break and jump into phone calls. <laughs> you down for a break and we jump into phone calls? Yeah. Okay. Break. Break sounds good right now. <laughs> break. God damn.
thoughts, I still can't make a dollar. Anybody home, Mr. 38 Revolver? Holla, Lord, I need change. Heard you heal the hurt, I heard you kill the pain. Hold me down the street, you left them dead in the dirt. Now his mama growing grace. Clouds in the skies, leave tears on the grave. No smile on the face, just another t shirt. Small this girl when they flirt. It's still fresh, still smell death. Bunch of drug. Can't wait to fuck Waiting on the prey like a goon in Hey. Check one, two, one, two, baby. I'm gonna tell him. I'm gonna, I'm Let's go. Right Let's go. Phone calls are blowing the fuck up. Let's go right here. Let's go right now. Hey. Hold on a second, dog. What the fuck? You on hood stocks? Hold on, hold on. You're on hood stocks. Talk to us. What's up, Lucky? What up, baby? Talk to us, doggy. What up, King Lil G? What's up, my dog? What's good? But, uh, shout out to him. Hold on, let me use the background. Yeah, turn that volume shout down in the background, Gate, though. Yeah, my bad. Shout out to Southgate, homie. Hell yeah, Southgate. Where. Where you at in Southgate? Yes, I, I was right there off of... I was right there off of uh, Tweety and San Carlos for a few years and shit. I was right there off of Tweety and Walnut, too. Right in front of the yes, park sir, and I shit. Think. I used to love living there because... Uh, you know how there's a park where everybody runs and shit? All the baddest bitches would be yes, running sir. like around five, right? Am I lying? Yes, Hell no, you ain't lying, bro. <laughs> I be running right there, bro. too, dog. Hey, I just want to send a shout-out, homie. Hell yeah, much love, my dog. I live in state, right here at Firestone and Southern, right to the Bible Park, homie. Okay, hell That's yeah. Cool, homie. Hell yeah, hey, much love, my dog. I'm going to be out there yeah, in Salgate up, soon, dog. I'm going I'm to a, uh, a go play at the at the Gold's Little Fields, the, the Little Fields oh, that they got right there homie. in the park and shit. I'm going to have the What's fans the pull up. So, so if you see it, pull up, because I want to play soccer with some of my fans and shit. I'll pull up. I'll pull up, honey. Is that is oh, that yeah. your favorite sport, brother? Martin, by the way. Hey, Martin. Yeah. Hi. I love my soccer, name. low key. <laughs> See you later, Martin. Um, That's what I wanted to be as a kid, though, for real. Martin Lawrence. Nah, man, play oh, soccer. soccer. Play. Okay. Shout <laughs> <laughs> the Martin Lawrence, bro. I love basketball. Who's the team, bro? Who runs this city, bro? L.A. Uh, Lakers. Come on. Lakers, baby. How we? What are we gonna do this year, bro? We're gonna fucking kill it. Man, we're doing so fucking amazing right now. Let's get this next phone call. Uh, you're on Hoodstocks. Talk to us. What's up, homie? Hey, Lucky. First of all, fuck you. Uh, hey, <laughs> dog. I love you too, hey, baby. Nah, and then, yeah, so this is, that's a big guys from Southgate Marijuana. I just want to shout out to Let's go, baby. Hoodstock. I want to shout out to you up with some Hoodstocks and the homie Clean Energy. Much love and respect, homie. Hell yeah, much love, my brother. Say. You know, yeah. you know, Ray, you know, Ray Ray from Marijuana's was yeah, my yeah, my celly, yeah, right? Yeah, that's my boy. That's that's a homie. I yeah, love Ray, bro. Right there. I love you, baby. Yeah, Thank you, dog. <laughs> Next phone call. You're on Hoodstocks. Talk to us. Hello. <laughs> yeah, you're you're live, baby. Talk to us. Hey, what's up, King Energy? What's up? What's up, my G? What's good? I don't know where I'm talking to King Energy. I'm a big fan of you, bro. That's Hell yeah, hey, much love, pants, much so. love, much love, little homie. Shit, what's up? You rap or what? Let's hear you rap on this live. What's up? No, I don't. I don't, I don't rap, but. <laughs> All right, I, much I love. Do, Yo, lady I do does. Love you, bro. Keep it up, man. Hell yeah, hey, I'm gonna leave a bunch of I'm gonna leave a bunch of merch right here, so maybe you could give it away to some of the fans too, so y'all tap in. I mean, if the guys don't get it right here, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I got you, baby. Let's go. Next Come phone on. call. Uh, you're on Hoodstock. Talk to us. What's up, man? I got a question for King Little G. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, I got a question, man. You said you were looking for an upcoming artist. Uh, would you ever consider rapping with somebody from, from the Bay Area, like uh, Norteño, if, if, if that's the case? Uh, you know what? Um, yeah, salute everybody over there on that side. You know, I send my love. I send my respect because, you know, we all Mexican and shit. But they know they know that I'm over here down south, and um, and I, I got to move the way that people from the down south move. You know what I'm saying? So it's all love to them, but... Oh, love That's just you. what it is. Absolutely. Next call. Uh, you're on Hoodstock. Talk to us. Oh, shit. I made it on Hoodstock. Oh, shit. Are you a female or a dude? Because your voice is super high, bro. Carlos Cruz. 
south side of Minneapolis, Minnesota, in a house. Oh, you know, let's go. Yo, long time friend, I was bumping your shit out through middle school, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, my race. dog. That's you right. Much love, yeah, much love, homie. My life, bro, you was my dad, you know what I'm saying? I was oh, man, my dog, salute. Knowledge, my nigga, you feel me? Hell yeah, salute, hey. my dog. You feel me? Hey, bro, this is crazy, man. Much love to you, man. Much love, homie. One day, I I rap, man, and it, and I'm working hard to get your attention, you know what I'm saying? And if that takes years, it's going to take years. If it takes days, you know? Hey, it's send me a DM fun. once. Hey, no, 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 no. Send me a DM. Yeah, send me a DM, hear. but let's hear, let's hear a couple bars right now. Oh, let's go. Okay, all right, check it. I said, it's heaven or hell my destination. I spoke with God, but we have no relation. Told me if I come in, I'll be on probation. But fuck that. I'd rather tote guns than set annihilation. Living in hell, it's hard enough to make the gun shell spark. For creeping in the dark. What? Broad day what? light, bodies hit the pavement. Lined up in the morgue, no arrangement. Hey. Toe tag, giving out like candy. No one named chick named Braddy. So that shit Next phone crazy. call, dog. Come on. I don't know about that shit, dog. Let him spit. Let him spit. Let him spit. Nah, just cut him off. Next, hey, you're a hook sucks. He was just getting yeah, warmed up. Hey, hey, shit. Shit. He better what's warm cracking? up that oil and fucking what's up, what's rub up, his feet, G? homie. You know what I mean? Next what phone up, call. West Coast graffiti. Annihilation. <laughs> reservation. Perservation. Hey. Like, bro, get the fuck out, bro. I need to hear some that's bars, right, baby. Right. What's up, King Little G? What's, What's up, up, Lucky? How you guys doing over there, man? We're Shit. doing really good, brother. We're having a good time. It's a good vibe. Yeah, yeah. So check this out, man. A lot of people are just talking and everything and putting up, uh, you know, uh, the comments. I think you should go with uh, Doughboy Tony. I think he's out of Anaheim, man. He's a dope rapper, youngster. Okay. Put him on, man. Where are you calling from first, brother? Long be strong, be just so you already know how it is, homie. Okay. Hell yeah. Hey, okay. hey, but uh, tell your people to comment his name because we're going to pick the person uh, who's no, being no, they, on you the No, no. Yeah, they've been spamming They've been spamming his name on the chat, man. They've been being... Lucky, they've been how, putting, we gonna, uh, how we going to choose the person? Who, who we going to choose? Lucky, homie, how we going to do it? I you you got to put Tony, man. Tony's a dope-ass rapper. You know, you you know how we're going to choose it, bro? You know okay, how we're going to choose on, it? No, we're going to choose it by them calling in and spitting something hot. Hey, let the homie okay. give a shout-out to Tony. Hey, hey how, how do we find... Anybody that knows Tony, hey, Tony. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to DM Tony right now. I'm going to yeah. try to get him to, to call in, homie. What's Tony's up? dope as fuck. Hell do yeah. it right now. Salute Next phone call. Salute to the little homie. Salute to the little homie. Tony, I talked to his pops, bro. I know who this is, bro. He's been... You're on Hoodstock. Talk to us. Hey, what's up, man? What's hey, good? What's good, homie? I just want to send a little love to fucking uh, King Lil G. Hell yeah, much love, homie. But, uh, but man, on his little uh, disrespectful freestyle, like, he ain't, it wasn't all that great. And why? I fucking fuck with, uh, why? Cause I you fuck thought with I was gonna. Outside, why? Cause you thought I was gonna diss other rappers, uh, the Mexican nah, rappers. Nah. I feel like nah, a lot of people was, expected me to do that, but it was just, I really wanted to just show people that uh, that my skill is much more than these regular Chicano rappers, and I feel like my music is not that. And when I come hip hop, I feel like certain fans they don't understand that, but the numbers don't lie. The numbers are going up. Where's that? Where's like the numbers up the, on that? The numbers speak for themselves. Nah, where's they at right now on that yeah. freestyle? Uh, it's at a, it's a, it, it hit a million in five days, Let's and I'm go, waiting baby. to see what other rapper does it. So you so, know, what, dog. I, so, you know so, what, whatever you're favorite. saying right now is not a re is not relevant. No, no, Sorry. no. It is. It is relevant, and I appreciate okay. your 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 opinion. Yeah. But I'm just letting you know the facts of what's going on. The numbers are going up. Next phone call. What y'all want me to do? You're on Hoodstocks. Talk to us. Yo, yo, what's up? Your butt cheeks on me. What's cracking, dog? <laughs> Shit. Yo, 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 what's up, homie? You on a G-string right now with your ass in the air, bro. On the phone. What's up, dog? Huh? Next phone call. Full, full, full passed out. <laughs> You're on Hoodstocks. Talk to us. This motherfucker, dog. Better come correct, dog. Shit. You're on Hoodstocks. Talk to us. Next phone call. Come on. This Nevada right here. You, you hanging up on everybody. I know. I'm a dick, bro. I'm sorry, dog. Let's go. Uh, next phone call. Here we go. You're on Hoodstocks. Talk to us. Yeah. What's the deal, Luck? Chilling, baby. We got the King Little G right here, baby. The. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, I just had a call. Send my this motherfucking clack for smooth hustle. What's up, King Little G? What's up? <laughs> what's up, my dog? What's popping, clack? What's good? Hey, I just want to call and con congratulate both of you because I've been gone for nine years and, Hell and yeah, fool. I've seen change in you guys' shit, man. And I really support both of you guys' platforms. And that's just dope. I really, I really feel proud to know people like you, homie. Hey, you my boy. Shit. Hey, my boy, how you been since you got, got out, though? I know you got out of prison and shit. What's up? How you been? 
I'm in a halfway home. I still got like a year left. But they're gonna get. I'm, I'm gonna do the real ten summers now. Uh, but I'll be out in a few months. I'm just hitting this gym. I just wanted to just call in and send mine. You know, I see everything going on on Hell YouTube. Yeah. But Hell yeah, much honestly, King Lil G, when it comes to that Chicano rap talk that they're talking about. I see you as a Hispanic artist, though. You, yeah. you paint pictures, and and I Thank and you, I give my time to your music. I was doing pull up just a few months ago to go to out to get me. Yeah. Yeah, hell yeah, my dog. Hey, and salute to you, Clack. You know I got love for you. I got love for Smooth Hustle, Sonny. Yeah, I've been go. knowing Sonny for a long Sonny time. Sonny Blue, salute. baby. That's my boy right there. I used to roll yeah. with that dude back in the day, dog. My, he come respect, pull up in the yeah. hood, in my hood, bro, and pick yeah. me up. Me and my boy Chucky, he hell picked yeah. me up, and we we go to his fucking shows. And she's Sonny Blue, I love that dude, and he's doing his thing with his daughter right now. We love you, baby. Yeah. Uh, next phone call. You're on Hoodstocks. Talk to us. You know, I got love for you. Turn the volume down in the background. Slap your baby mama. Get your shit right. Next phone call. Uh, you're on Hoodstocks. Talk to us. Hold on. You're on Hoodstocks. Talk to us. Turn the volume down in the background. You call it from Sacramento? No, Corona. <laughs> Corona. Let's go. IE in the building, baby. Let's what, go. What, 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 what? Yeah, we love our Inland Empire homies. IE, what's, what's up? What's up, King Lil G? What's up, my boy? How you doing? Right here tapping in. I just had a question. When are you going to do a show out here in Corona? You got mad love out here, bro. Hey, where Everybody. where where can I do a show right there? Though? Like, what's the name of the venue out there? I, I don't even... Right here, the neighborhood park, bro. Pull up to the neighborhood nah. park. Everybody. They got a hockey. They got a hockey. Uh, yeah, got, bro, you how neighborhood many, park, how many bro. You want the homie home? to get? You know what I mean, what the fuck, <laughs> neighborhood park, bro? You know what I mean, <laughs> shit, dog. You know I mean? Are you gonna supply security for this man, dog? I mean, neighborhood park, dog. Hey, hey but we need a venue. <laughs> that sounds like a setup to me, dog. Nah, but look, you know what I mean? but look, but look, but look we need a venue for like a thousand people right there, bro, bro. So if you know of one, shit, let us know and shoot and it. Be, I'd love to come out there. Uh, Inland no, Empire so and in, in, Inland Empire is the new South Central I said it right here baby. Them motherfuckers <laughs> grind me out there Everybody in the mama moved out there dog You know what I mean You shit I went out there the other day To try to hop some shoes And try on a shirt And they said no dressing rooms This is IE <laughs> um, oh, oh Conyo 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 Talk to me baby Oh man You know me I hear him man I'm all there tonight <laughs> Conyo, what do you what do you think of this, brother? Oh man, it's a lesson right there, man. You know, you can't beat that. Conyo, you top of the world, Papa. You make it, man. Run it. Thank you. Conyo, we love you so much, brother. And thank you for hey, man. thank you for Anytime, all your support here, brother. Absolutely. Oh man, I right here, man. To the king, you know, I wanna say congratulations, you know, on thank your you. conquest of the South Side, you know. Thank you. Anytime, man. You keep going, man. I, that's the harbor area right there, baby. Put, put, Love you, put, baby. Put, put, put. You're on Hoodstocks. Talk to us. <laughs> yo, yo. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Lucky and King Lil G. Salute, my boy. Y'all just out Chino the P. That Chino will go P. hard. All right. Yeah. That Chino will, the P. That hard as fuck. Okay. So check that for out. Hey, hey, what's one of the name of the uh, uh, of his songs? Which one should we check out? Which, which song by Chino the P? So we can all check it out. So that way, look, the people in the comments could also check it out because I want to show love to all of y'all. He hung up already. Let's take oh, this man. last phone call and then we're going to hit him with some Joe Rogan shit, dog. What are you bullshitting? You're on Hoodstocks. Talk to us. Hello? Yeah, what up? Oh, uh, Glendale, California. No, where are you calling from? Hello? Turn the volume down in the background. Um, put your bra on. Titties are hanging all the way to your belly button right now. What? <laughs> <laughs> How big are your breasts? No, I'm just saying what question do you have for oh, King okay. Little G? Oh, I just wanted to say that I saw, I met King Little G at his concert um, in Santa Ana, and it was really dope. Hell yeah, salute. Thank you for supporting me. You said Santa Ana? What was that, at the yeah. observatory? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. That was a dope show. We got high as fuck over there. Bro, dude, is that females ever throw yeah. their panties at you? It was crazy. Uh, yes. We're not going to talk about that on <laughs> Okay, <laughs> next <laughs> next phone call. Let's take this last phone call. The that. last phone call from Vegas right here. Come on. We can. And then we, we, gotta, we, got some, got, we got some shit right here. You're on Hoodstocks. Talk to us. What's next up, phone what's call. Up, what's up, anybody? You're on Hoodstocks. Talk to us. 
I'm going to take this phone call right here. Fuck it, dog. This is Thumper right here. Thumper, hold on, dog. Hold on, my boy. You're on Hoodstock. Talk to us. No, that wasn't. Thumper, call back again. He's an upstate homie. Hello? Yeah, what up, doggy? Oh, what's up, King Lil G? What's up, my dog? How you doing? What's up? Am I on? Yeah, we You're can on, hear you. You're on, baby. We can hear you, my dog. You're on like a thong, yeah. homie. Hell yeah. I, I'm driving right now. I was watching the show. I just want to say saludos, King Lil G. Hell yeah, saludos. Saludos, homie. Stop. Hell yeah, saludos. Thank you, baby. That's what's up. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, had a, I had a question, though, for King Lil G. What's up, my boy? Yeah, um, I've been to some of your shows. They're fucking pretty popping. They're, they're fucking lit. Oh, you're Thank you, my brother. Hell yeah, pull up, because um, we about to take uh, we about to take a lot of artists on tours pretty soon and shit, so I'm going to be out there once again. Absolutely. That's what's up. Thank you, brother, for I calling. Just like, I, I, I just got like a sensitive question, though. Tell me what's up. Talk to me. I ordered some merch, though, before you went on tour on there April the 5th. Yeah. I never got it though. All right, so look, this is what we're gonna do. Um, no, no, hold on. Let me see. Where can we contact? No, no, no. Let me see. Let's do it like this. I'm gonna fix this. No, nah, how do? How where where do you live at, bro? Where do you live at? In San Diego. San, San Diego. Diego. Check it bro, out. We need Check it info. out. Check it out. No, I'm gonna do this for you, dog. We need his info. No, I'm gonna do this for you, my boy. Text me your address, bro. And the Hoodstocks crew is going to pull up and drop it off personally to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You let Look, us know. He's driving. You let us know what the order yeah, was. Yeah, we're going to drive it to you personally. Yeah. I got you on that, baby. Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, look. So, look. We're going to send you a big-ass box of merch. And I'll yeah. drop it yeah. off, bro. Some beanies and shit. A bunch of a bunch of dope ass shit. I just dope created. ass shit, dog. Yeah, dog. Some unreleased shit. Some unreleased shit. What size panties you wear, bro? <laughs> <laughs> we got the AK forty seven panties on your little booty, homie. You know what I mean, all right. Next, uh, next. Uh, let's check it out. Let's do it like this, dog. Check it out, dog. Ricky's Ricky. My boy Droops is like fucking lucky, dog. Always grabbing ass and fucking around, dog. Uh, we want to hit you with this. We want to hit you with this. Let's go. Put the camera over there. Put the camera over there. Okay, and we got Casey and we got our intern, Brenda. I love you guys. Thank you. Hey, so I, I want to know, <clears throat> how often do you try to keep your dollar in the Latino community? Because I got a mm. fact here. How long do you think the dollar in the Latino community? Uh, hey, but you know what? I'm going to be honest with you. I, I do because I only, I only shop at places like La Carniceria, which I'm hoping is owned by a raza. Yeah. I don't know. So, so... And I don't do it like by choice or none. It's just by like already like yeah. you know what I'm saying. Just having that habit of buying food at the carniceria. Even though I live where I live, I don't care. I'll drive far to go to a little carniceria, somewhere and shit. You know, I'm just used to doing that. So I'm hoping that it's owned by Mexicans. If that's what you're saying. Right? So how do you? How long do you think the dollar stays in the in the uh, community mm -hmm. for? If shit, could, I wouldn't know. If I, you could guess a number, fuck, one of you I guys. What kind of question is that? I wouldn't be able to know. Shit, it, I don't know how other people move. 40, I mean, how do we? Forty-eight minutes is how long the dollar lasts within our community before really? it gets passed off to like the white community. To yeah, for for, <laughs> for the owners, for Asians, it's twenty-eight days. For Jew, for the Jewish community, it's nineteen days, and we have about twenty-eight. Or 40, we have uh, about 48 minutes. Well, shout out to the Jewish community. You got your boy Drew Hefner right here. I mean, I'm half Mexican and half Jew, baby. I mean, don't uh, don't hate me and don't love me at the same time. Go ahead. Um, what else we got for King? What's up? Uh, well, I mean, I got, a whole, I got a whole bunch of questions for you unless you want to get Let's hear into... one from Brenda. Let's hear one from Brenda. I mean, I'm not, it's not even a question. It's just more of like throughout your songs you keep saying what you're saying here so I, I appreciate that because you're really you're real um you talk about your mom you talk about how you want to make her proud you talk about how you know it's you trying to bring up raza and i think that that's needed definitely so i just want to shout you out for that because Thank we need you. more people like that <clears throat> yeah i you know I, I really express the way i feel about my moms in my music because uh i always want my fans to know how it is that i view my mother at, at all different stages of my life what if, what if you didn't have a, a, a mom? What, would that would that change the person that you are now? Uh, man, I don't know. Lucky because I, I don't have a mom, that. bro. I didn't go through that, so I couldn't know, brother. Okay, absolutely. I yeah. wouldn't be able to know. Absolutely. I would have to go through that. In order but is that the backbone of who you are, your mom? Uh, nah, it's every person in my family, low-key. Because yeah. I feel like my mom, she taught me how to be humble. You know, uh, my brothers, they taught me bravery. Like, everybody had a certain little role. How many siblings you got? Uh, three. Three. And you got one of them right here that got yeah. out from doing how, how long? Yeah, he did a long-ass time. How long yeah. you do, my G? 
18 years, my brother. 18 years. Yeah. That's what I thought. Is it 18? Because it's And the last time, the last time I saw him, he was a teenager. <laughs> last or is time it I like saw him, he was 17 a teenager. and a half. <laughs> 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 Sometimes motherfuckers is we're going to round off. <laughs> um, what, is your, what is your brother that's done 18 years, brother? How, 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 how fresh are you out, my G? Three years. Three years. <laughs> okay. 18 years. Older brother, obviously. Yeah. How much older? Pretty, we're not gonna disclose that. Okay, we won't disclose that. <laughs> what, is, what, is, what, is, what is this man, your brother, your blood, Yeah. what has he taught you? Man, he taught me how to be, uh, he taught me how to be real patient and how to, uh, and how to be brave uh, growing up and shit. He taught me a lot of love. I feel like, you know, when the times that my father would be absent, I feel like my brother would take on that role of like, kind of like having my back. And you know, and teaching me how to be in certain ways, and, and teaching me to be about morals and shit, and you know, and be compassionate to people, you know, and be and be real humble. That's that's his attitude. So I feel like that rubbed off on me heavy. When he first initially caught that sentence, yeah. Um, what? Let's be real about it, bro. What's up? Like, what did that do to you in the regards of how you move? And how you conduct yourself as a, as a you're at the time, right? A, a probably a boy, right? Yeah. You know, what what did what, I mean? What did that do to you? You know. Repeat the question, cause I'm high as a motherfucker. Say that again, one more time. That makes two of us, baby. <laughs> <clears throat> um, it's that mushroom. No, I was paying mushroom. attention, but no, I'm, you, I'm high as a motherfucker. Say that one more time. It's all good, baby. It's all good, dog. When when you have a sibling. Yeah. Right? When you have a sibling that catches and I don't know what the original sentence was, but the oh, man served high. the man served eighteen years, bro. So we're gonna go ahead and say that it was probably more than eighteen years that he was convicted on. I mean, what does that do for a sibling? For people that don't know, bro, for people that don't know of having people what up, Maji? What's up what, what's homie's name? Muerto from Cam. Shout out to you, my G. I've been, I've been, I've been loving. I've been waiting to meet you, my boy. And I'm thank, I'm happy that you're here today, brother. Thank you, brother. My bad, I came late. I didn't want to interrupt. Is you all good? You gonna interrupt, dog? Eastside Cam in the in the building, baby. You know what I mean? Yeah. Shout out to the homies. Salute, my dog. Absolutely. Absolutely. And they came here to see you, brother. Hell yeah. I mean, this is a celebration right here, dog. Hell yeah. I love to see my people. I love, I love being around love, and I love to give love back. So. You know, where, whenever I come across my people, I like to be very loving because that's what I was taught to do. Like, that's my way that I was raised up. So that's how I move. You know, and homie rode up in a wheelchair. Hell homie, yeah. Homie rode up in a wheelchair. Homie. So we're going we gonna to give him his own interview, and we're not going to take too much of you, your time on this, dog. You know, but um, I love the homies, bro. Hell yeah. I salute. love the homies so much, salute. bro. Come on. You know what I mean? Like, because I have been in all the situations with the homies, bro, from top to bottom, bro. You yeah. know, and and I have a special, uh, uh, just like my heart when it comes to the homies. And this is why I started Hoodstocks, bro, is is to share our stories, bro, and not to not to fucking give up game, bro, not to fucking feed the fucking the agencies that are watching this platform, bro, but to just show the world, bro, that you know what. We have a story, bro. These tattoo faces have a story, and they can share their stories, bro, without incriminating themselves and giving up game, you know? And 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 I've had my best conversations in dope houses, bro. I was fucking dope the fuck up, bro. My G, like, King Lil G, Lil G, I was fucked up, bro, at a lot of my life, bro, you know? And, 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 and if I can ever give back to my community, bro, I'm doing it right now. With hoodstocks, dog. Oh, yeah, salute. You know what I mean, I'm oh, doing yeah. it right now with hoodstocks, dog. You know. Hey, so, so who do we choose? Who do we choose? Oh, the the, the rapper. Who do we choose? Yeah, what's no, up? no. But not only who do we choose, but we had an agenda right here. Let me know. Check it out, dog. Oh, uh, do we got a little more time, bro? Uh, damn, low key. Uh, we gotta kind of wrap it up. But I want to find whoever we're gonna give this feature to for free. The video too for feature. free. Feature. And I'm gonna get... put it on my channel too. 
Okay, we're let's go. go Who's getting the feature? We wanted to hit you with some other shit, dog. You know what I mean? That's going on in this world, bro. To let people know that there's other things going on in this life than this simple, stupid ass shit. You know what I mean? But we're gonna go ahead and skip that segment. And who right now is gonna get? How long are we on hey, this? Hey, we shit? need help from you guys right here in the audience. Who, get, who's, get getting names, bro. who's getting it? Who's getting it? The so name. Who's gonna get it right here on Hoodstock? Who's monitors. getting the feature? Who's getting hey, the video, the baby? Hey, Frankie, can you check right there, too? And he could be from, you know, Denver. He could be from... Let's go. Next phone call. Let's do a phone call, bro. It don't really matter. You're on Hoodstocks. Talk to us. Any color, too. It don't have to be a Mexican. It could be anybody. Anybody. We're not going to exclude nobody. If it's a dope person... You're on Hoodstocks. Talk to us. Let's get it. What's up? What's up, my boy? Hey, what's up to the Hoodstocks camp? This is Travi from Charlie Road Campo. Oh, shit. Okay. Hey, hey, I changed my number, my boy. I got caught up on some shit. Changed my number, but it's still Union Carpenters. On mine. Hey, check it out. I want to say rest in peace, Wreck, from Wicked Minds. Okay. Salute to the homie. That's the only reason why Charlie Road Campo. Hey, look, Jersey. Shout out to King Little G. Shout yeah. out to King Little G, my boy. What up? King Little G. Salute. Salute, hey, homie. Hey, look. I live out all the way out here in Jamie. I'm from that Wither Bar Rocos gang. I'm from the Southeast. Yeah. Got a pack out here. Yeah. Working. I, man, everybody loves the shirt I wear. The <laughs> socials. <laughs> I can rock oh. that shit, but you guys always yeah. shout out. Salute, you my guys dog. Always shout out. I got oh, the yeah. sweat. I got everything. Hell yeah! Hey, uh, hey. We, we, hey, how can we get a, a a box of merch for you, my dog? What's up? Can we send it to you? Out, out, text hey. Lucky. How can we do that? I'm gonna text Lucky uh, with my yeah, text number, me dog. and I'll drop it off. I'm, you know, dog, I'll be the delivery boy, dog. I don't give a fuck, homie. You know what I mean? Hey, Whatever hey, supports hey, this community. Hey, love, Much love, hey, my dog. Like that. From the heart, my okay, brother. Look, look, I'm gonna. I make, I make music too. I'm probably fool for Charlie Rocampo. Yeah. One of the uh, one of the founders of Charlie Rocampo. Yeah. Me, baby Jones and Chino started that shit. That's you right. know Rec. Yeah. I know we used that. to go to the same studio, LA Hitman. That's right. Hey, Young I, Beach, when I, we're very when we're grinding, we were yeah. selling CDs. Yep. yep. We're fuck you, man. Yep, you're right. Man, Chino used to call me and be like, uh, you got any money for the studio? <laughs> $20, huh? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was like yeah, that. Was like, it was I like that back then. Like $30 an hour or something, but. Yeah. And then we had to get it mastered. We used to grind, dog, but. Hell yeah. Uh, rest in peace, Jersey, too, man. Hell yeah. Rest in peace, uh. For sure. Jersey Trigger, whatever. Spent, yeah. Uh, I, 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 youngster, Youngster, right? Hey, look, so check it out. So let me tell you a story. Of, let me tell you a story about Youngster. Uh, okay. rest, youngster, rest in peace. Rest in peace. So this fool, this fool never gave me a contract or nothing like that to release my music. Oh, wow. And then he just you know what? He, key, that's how it was though, low key, remember right? he just sold my music off to somebody. Oh, so low key, you, he, he basically uh, did you dirty? Yeah. Yeah. So okay. so, so look, look, look. I was gonna say, but even though he did that, I want to say rest in peace because he did give me an opportunity. Okay. And I feel like something positive did come from that. Okay, but because hey, look, because it led me it, it, it led me down uh-huh. the way that made me want to like get get you know grind come grind now, grind. You gotta start from somewhere. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you salute to there, the homie. Dog. Salute to the homie. Hey, look. Likewise with fucking rack. Yeah. Hey, it was only five thousand dollars for a whole fucking record, my boy. Yeah, remember that shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> like they're gonna give you five thousand dollars. Yeah. And, but you gotta start somewhere. It's called paying your dues. Yeah. People forget about that shit. Yeah, that and shit we was all hard. Think that, dog. that shit was hard. If I, I wish I, 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 I wish I fucking kept on making music, but I didn't. You yeah. know what I mean? I got busted. Nah, but you can still uh, keep going, my boy. Shit, drop some shit. Oh, hell yeah. Who the dude, fuck? Dog, hey, dog, Come on, you got you a YouTube what? channel? <laughs> drop that shit. You know what, dog? Fuck everything. Okay, shit, just... I'm in the cut. I'm in the cut. Shout out to my Carga Rascal from that Wicked Water Locals, but I'm going to tell you one thing, King Lil G. Yes, sir. Hey, my boy, I bumped your shit. I do not. I do not like how motherfuckers are hating on you because, hey, dog, you got to recognize. But Conejo is one of my favorite Chicano rap rappers. I, it's not even Chicano rap, it's gangster rap, homie. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. No, no, no. Gangster Wait, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What did you say? It's basic rap? I, I was gangster rap. Oh, gangster, oh, gangster rap. rap. Okay, because because Conejo ain't no basic rapper, bro. He's a dark ass dude with a dark ass past. You know what I mean? And I love that dude for that. Conejo is my favorite rapper been since back in the day, dog. Why raw? Sushi, homie. Straight up. Hell yeah. But, uh, you know what? I'll, 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 you know what? I was going to have Cornell on here, dog, but if you, when you choose another podcast before fucking Hoodstocks and shit, dog, it puts you in the back of the line, baby. You uh, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. We, no, we do exclusive shit right here. Don't play with it. Respect the streets, homie. You want to fuck with the streets? You come to Hoodstocks, dog. That's what it is, dog. You want to, hey, you want to fuck with the streets? Come to Hoodstocks, dog. You want to fuck with other different things, dog? Then you're going to fuck with other fucking things, dog. You know what I mean? But we connected right here dog in a real way in a solid way dog in a solid way dog don't play with it dog straight up dog and I ain't high and real nah it is real it is what it is baby. it's like me being in a fucking county jail dog real I ain't getting out. I, 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 I'm stuck. Hey, shout out, shout out to row. back in the day, 3400 row, Baker Row, dog, gang module, oh, homie, where I was at, my boy. You know what I mean? Straight up, dog. You know what I mean? I've you know I mean? I, I been on all the motherfucking yards, dog. You know what I mean? Straight up, dog. You know what I mean? I don't fuck around right here, dog. You ain't fucking with, you fucking with the real right here. You on Hoodstocks, talk to us. Hey, what's up, big luck? Shit, you sound clear as a motherfucking crystal, baby. What's going on, dog? You don't hey, got a, you got you got you don't got T-Mobile. You don't got Obama phone, dog. You have fucking a Verizon. Hey, big dog. Talk to me. Talk to King Little G. Hey, shout out to you for what you're doing, where you've been, where you came from. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Shout out to AC for coming back. Made the shit way better, homie. Shout out to the homie. <laughs> Fuck you on that, but thank you on that. <laughs> big shout out to King Little G. But why I'm calling, homie, because like I, I agree with what he says. I'm I'm not like a big uh, person stream a bunch of shit, buy CDs or whatever the fuck, but I more I relate more to, to the homie. I'm I'm about your age. I don't think rap and hip hop and Chicano has the age on it. I don't care who's been here longer. To me that to me, King Little G, I, I'm proud homie to be Chicano because this fool fucking represents it right, dog. He's West Coast hip hop, dog. He's a storyteller, bro. You know what I mean? And his his his, his, his music from the beginning, bro, has been storytelling, bro, and it is fucking amazing, bro. You know what I mean? It is amazing, dog. You know what I mean? And I don't give a fuck, dog, what anybody else got to say about this shit, dog. That I means level the fuck up, dog, and then come holler at us about shit, dog. Straight up. King Little G is the king of motherfucking homie hip-hop, dog, and that's just it, dog. And I said it right here in the Hoodstocks, dog. Fuck you. You don't like it. I'm taking all fades. Uh, right, right, cuz? You don't brag, yeah. homie. He does it. Like, come on, we're from LA, fool. Everybody does. Everybody has a King Little G in their family. What's they don't up? gotta go on and act like, hey, I'm fucking King Kong. He don't do that. He just talks from the heart, and that's the shit that I love, dog. He's in right, right, yeah, love. bro. Much love, homie. The art of. Much love, homie. Salute. Hey, Salute. Congratulations. Too lucky for getting him, and I, I swear to God, I'm not, I'm not a hater, dog. I'm not a hater. I'm your age, homie. I'm not a hater. I don't care. I, I got my job for the last 15 years. I worked for LA County, but fuck yeah, all the other podcasts and rappers, dog. I can't stand the motherfucking dog. Let's go, I baby. Go. Hoodstocks is the gangster rapper motherfucking podcast. We started it right here, dog. You know what I mean? And we good on the motherfucking main line, homie. Stop playing with us, dog. Thank you for okay, calling, okay. dog. Hey, everybody, give it up for King Little G, dog. Pull through, dog, like a big dog, dog. You know what I mean? Showed up with a small army, uh, and when you add it to mine, dog, we you can't be fucked with, dog. You can't fuck with it, dog. Hey, you know what, brother? Yeah. Anything you'd like to say heading out of this? Uh, shit. Just salute. I want to show love. I want to be embraced, and uh, I want to I want to do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? And uh, much love to all the young artists coming up. Uh, reach out. Show love. You know, sometimes we quick to go against each other and we don't even know each other. Reach out. Let's be good. Especially if, you know, you, you coming from L.A., I want to show love. L.A. is the fucking so, I don't think I, baby. Hey, bro, I don't think I'm better than anybody. I'm just a human being. For real. <laughs> Hit me up. Everybody that meets me, they know I'm humble. They know what's up with me. So. And you've been humble from the beginning. Yeah, so let's get together. Let's do some things together. What's up? 
And and you know what? Check it out, bro. I want to say this before I end this, bro. Yeah. Even when a, somebody does a diss track on you, bro. <laughs> no, check it out, bro. I want to say this. It's a compliment, brother. Because that's hip hop, bro. I like that shit low key. Because low yeah. key, that shit turns me the fuck up. Let's go, like, baby. I gotta Let's some, go. I'm like, I got to drop some harder shit. Yeah. I'm like, I, I got to drop bigger numbers. I got I to gotta work harder. I'm like, I got to work harder at this shit. So let me say this, bro. Let me say this, King. What's up? Little G. What's up? Misfit Soto did a a, a, a a diss track on you, bro. Why he do that? He, but, he, but bro, that dude is a fucking. He's not from a hood, bro. But, why he but he's a that? talented artist because he backs Conejo, bro. Okay, so what's the problem? Why didn't Conejo do it instead of his team doing it? Yeah, his squad on. doing it. Come on, <coughs> come on. Y'all gotta show love. Show love, bro. That's you not did, the way to show have love. You, have bro. you ever heard the, his uh, letter to King Little G song? Yeah, I was bothered by that song. You were bo were you bothered by that song? Yeah, I thought I thought it was I thought it was good. I, I thought it, I thought it was good in the sense of uh, sportsmanship and understanding who the top is, bro. Nah, I and didn't I like it. I didn't like it because I I disagree with it because bro said something about um, I, I didn't help nobody out. He said I didn't help nobody out on that song, bro. Okay. And that and that's and not I factual. And I didn't like that, bro, because I was like, "Come on, you guys know how many artists went through my camp." Yeah, y'all know how many people I gave numbers to. Do you recognize his skill set? Hell yeah, that fool's hard, no? Everybody that's been on my camp has been talented, and that's why they were signed under me, my boy. Come on, I'm. Of course, I'm gonna be proud of them. Of course, I know they're talented, and it's nothing but love to them, cause I'm a boss. Straight up. What point in your career, and I know I knew you, you need to go, brother. You got the camp right here, dog. They all mad dog at me right now. <laughs> <laughs> and I ain't fucking with them, dog, because I, re I respect the streets, baby. <laughs> I respect nah, but I'm But I'm serious, though. Lucky, like, like straight up. Anybody that's been through my camp, it's nothing but love. Straight Thank you, up. And, and I feel like they should never act weird, and, and, and they should reach out. Straight up. It takes none to call a motherfucker up and be like, hey, yo, what's, what's up? This is how I'm feeling. Like, come on. Let's go. Everybody, <sighs> give it up for King Little G. We are out of here. Thank you, brother. And bro, blessing. Our biggest interview. Our biggest guest, brother. You know what I mean? And I just want to thank you so much, dog. You know what I mean? For just coming through, dog, and fucking with us, hey, dog. Hey, I, I, you know, all love and respect to you and your family, brother, and, and thank you for having me. I, I, I had a good time. I feel like we had a good conversation. You know what I want to say this? I want to say, I want, I, I want to say this. And I, I don't like to post text messages, even though sometimes when you post text messages, it, it gives a, 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 a dialogue of what it really is, right? Of intimate conversation, private conversation. And I said, King Little G, check it out, dog. I, I respect what you bring to this table right here. And what you bring to this table, this Hoodstock's table, dog, is nothing but greatness, dog. And what comes with greatness is uh, residuals and revenue, right? You know, and I said, my boy, like, like I, I, I want to give you, I want to give you 50%, 50% of the revenue that we do on this platform. And, and you know what, I could have posted that, but I don't want to disrespect the homie in our private conversation, but maybe I'm doing it now, and I apologize if, if you feel any in the way about it, dog. But no. I want to say this, No, though. don't. I want to say this. Like, I said, hey, my boy, I'll give you 50%. Thank you, dog, for choosing us first, dog, you know, um, because you don't do a lot of interviews, you know, and and I appreciate it, brother. And and you know what, right here at Hoodstocks, we like you show love, we show love, baby. You know what I mean? That's the way the streets work, dog. Oh yeah, come on, you know, bro, come on. Yeah, right. and I said, my boy, I'll give you fifty percent of the revenue, and he said, nah, dog, that's for your family and shit, dog. What? That's what? for your family and your hard work, brother. Yeah, this is your channel. Why? Why should I have fifty percent of your channel? Come on. We remember what I said about ownership. Yeah, we all gotta own it. Come on. We put in a lot of hard work. It takes a lot to put shit together. People Every, don't understand. It comes with a lot of pressure, a lot of stress, time away from your from, from your family. Look, we all away from our family right now. Everybody, King Little G, my boy. 
This dude is the epitome of greatness. I mean, we all dream to get to this level of this man right here. Oh, stop it, Lucky. Nah, this is, this, nah, no, bro. Nah, bro, I ain't fucking with you, dog. I ain't fucking with you, dog. You know what I mean? We, bro, like, I don't know. I, I, I can't tell you how many times that I dreamed in a cell of one time being a, a, at a certain level, bro. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And here I am. Yeah, fool, you're doing good. You're doing real good, dog. Here I am with Straight this up. dude right here, bro. Oh, yeah. This the King Little G, dog. Come on, Come on. I mean, we all you humans. Know? We all humans, my boy. Come on. And and when you first reached out to me, because we had conversations in the DM for, a, for two plus years, everyone was like, "Why don't you do American Cholo? Whoop de whoop whoop this and that, all this other shit." But I, you know what? Whatever you do from after this, yeah, absolutely, dog. You know what I mean, uh, do your thing, dog, and no shade on nobody else, dog. But but we been me and the homie have been talking for like fucking two plus years, bro. About hey, just but look, like, lucky, lucky. Let me tell you something about that. Uh, shit, I want to show love to all the homies. You know, what I'm saying in the south, like yeah. you know, I know American Cholo. Um, you know, he's from the south too. So I want to show love to him too. I want to link up with all the homies. I want to spread love. Lucky to everybody. Absolutely. Straight up. If there's any way that I could help the homie out, cool. And then once you guys go up, then we all help each other out. So we, so, so we you, all form a circle. So and, you so you do American Cholo after this. Man, I'm about to go everywhere, Lucky. Come on. Okay. We outside. Yeah. We going everywhere. We turning up. Absolutely, brother. And and salute to everybody coming up. It doesn't but, matter but if I'm first you what, or your second. But but I'll tell you what. I'm gonna do uh, interviews with the homies first because I'm not really interested in like doing interviews like that. Like I, I feel like I've already done them everywhere and low key I'm bored of saying the same shit. Gee, where'd you grow up? And then I kind of feel like I'm at school and shit. Well, I, I, that's why I, I was like, I wanted to give you a Hoodstocks interview and be like, dog, you know what I mean? Fashion over bitches, stretch marks. But I mean, you feel like, me? You know like, I mean? Like, 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 that's why I told you, bro, let's just catch a vibe. Let's not even talk about what we're going to talk about. Well, let's just do it on the fly. So we had a conversation let's on the phone. Let's keep it real. Let's now keep that, it real. Now that he's speaking on it, we had a conversation on the phone. I said, little G, like, check it out, my boy. Like, first off, thank you, brother. Hey, Second off, like, how could we, how, how, man. Well, how 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 can I compliment the interview, bro? Do we talk about the fucking like fucking rumors and this and that, or do we? What do we do, brother? Like, what, nah, what we don't care. About and I don't that do that shit. for nobody, bro. I don't we, do that for nobody. We don't bro. care about no rumors, bro. Like, I, I feel like I feel like when something is real, it's never a rumor. People address it to you. They don't tell other people. So, when it comes to a rumor, like, no, bro, no, we're not going there. Absolutely. Hey, King Little G. Hoodstocks Podcast, we are out of here. Love you, baby. 4-7 in this bitch.